Okay, so in this question, what we need to do is calculate all the missing properties for this uh, particular triangle. So we're given an angle, um, angle B, we're given what we could call side B. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. So this, I'm just gonna put this in lowercase b. Um, angle C is unknown, it's large C, but then we have little c, which is the side that's missing and we also have here the missing angle for A. So we've got this angle here, and we've got this angle here, um, and we need to, to look at how to figure out all the different parts for it. So in a question like this, we kind of, we need to look and see what we're given and what, what we have to find. So this type of a question, we were using cosine law in some of the previous questions, um, because we were given a side angle side. Now, if you look at this, the way this question is set up, um, we're missing side C, but I don't, I have angle B and I have um, side length of nine. So the cosine law would, would let us find the length opposite to 144, but we would have to know C. So this isn't, a case where the cosine law is going to help us because we're missing one too many um, uh, items at this point. So we can turn to the other one, which is the sine law. So the sine law is basically a ratio of the sine of an angle against its opposite side. So we do know one here. We know one pair. Sine B is 144, and we know the length is 13. So that gives us a ratio to compare um, all other questions with. So let's start looking at what we could find here. So let's let's try to find um, uh, let's try to find angle A, okay, which is the first one right here because it's opposite a side that we know. So we could so write down here sine B over little b. So remember, b, big B or big the big letter is the angle. The little letter is the side or the the distance of the side is equal to um, sine A all over little a. So we know the first one, sine B is 144 degrees. We know the distance. We don't know what sine A is. That's going to be the angle we're ultimately going to find, but we do know the length opposite to that, which is nine. Okay, so we can, simplest way to do this is just do cross multiplication and we're going to isolate sine A. So I can rewrite this as sine A is equal to nine times sine of 144 degrees all over 13. So it's a simple ratio. Um, it will come out to equal 0 0.4069. That's what sine A is. Now we have to take the inverse function of this, right, to calculate the angle. So that means A is equal to sine, inverse sine of 0 0.469. And again, make sure your calculator is in degree mode and you should see that it gets approximately 24 degrees. Okay, so that, that's um, one property that we could find is the missing angle there is A, it's 24. Now to find the other angle, C, okay, we could use the possibly, um, is there any trig function that we could use? We don't know the length of side C and we also don't know the angle. So again, the cosine law doesn't help us because we, we would need, we're missing one piece of information to make, to calculate that. But again, we do have um, a way to look at this, okay? A triangle always has 180 degrees in, in it. Okay, so we do now know two out of the three degrees. So we can say 180 degrees minus 144 minus 24 will give us the missing angle. And that actually works out to be 12 degrees. Okay, so we just use the triangle property to figure that piece out. And then now we just need to find um, C. Okay, so if I just go back to my, my diagram here, it's gonna mark in a few things. We have now know 24 and we now know 12. So the only thing, and we do know, um, we don't know, well B, we know B was equal to 13. 
um, which is right there, and we know nine. So we don't know C, okay? So all we need right now is to go back and probably use the sine law, and we can go back to our original, one of our original ratios here. So we can do sine B over little b is equal to sine um, C all over little c. So again, substituting that in, 144 over 13 is equal to, now we do know, we know what the value of C is now, we know it's 12 degrees, and we're just gonna calculate little c. So here we just need to do the cross multiplication rule again um, in order to figure this out. Um, just There's two trig functions in here, but we're going to cross multiply them. So I need to bring C to the top and sine 144 to the bottom. So and then 13 to the top. So you're gonna end up getting 13 times sine 12 and then move sine 144 to the bottom. And when we work that out, again, make sure your trig functions are in degrees, you should get approximately 4.6. So 4.6 is the missing distance for side C. All right, okay, so that's how that question works through. It's an application of two of the sine law twice and we have to use a uh, triangle property in order to figure out one of the missing angles.